Sora done being drunk? Yes, he is. Wake up, you Care Bear. Where is he? They're both gone. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? He double-crossed you! That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around. He double-crossed you, you bum. Dropping between characters. In this game, you will alternate between Sora and Riku to progress through the story. To drop or switch between characters, just select drop on the pause screen or the main menu. The drop gauge continues to decrease as you explore the field. Sleep and other negative statuses will cause your drop gauge to drain more quickly. When the drop gauge runs out, you will enter bonus time and droplets will appear more often. After bonus time ends, you will drop into the next character. Yeah, so now at this point, you will not get to you will get to decide whenever you switch as Sora or Riku. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So basically, yeah. at this point, you yeah. know yeah. that this is going to be basically yeah. what Birth yeah. by Sleep was, only yeah. more ah. fun. Ah. You can literally yeah. just fun. spam the living yeah. crap yeah. out of ah. being whoever you want to be yeah. at any time. Ah. If you need to beef up Sora or Riku, yeah. you can do it on your own. Like I said, this game has a lot of potential. It just never really reaches its final expect things because of its own... Because it basically kind of handcuffs itself with its own blissful ignorance. I don't know. Alright, block it, chocolate. Stop wasting my potions! I mean, I should be yelling at myself to stop me wasting my potions. They're very valuable this time in the game until I can get Cure. Should have a look around. I'm trying to look around. Aha! Missing item. Actually, as it happens, let me check something. I should just get potions and not take them out of my deck for now. At least wait until I can get more of them. Or I can get Cure and completely ignore them. You okay down there, Chonkus? There you are. I basically explored every area I can here. And apparently Sora does not want me to go that way, so... That's the only path forward is... No? Oh. What the hell am I looking for, then? What the hell am I looking for then? Yeah. Oh, what the hell is this? There we go. That's all I had to do? Okay. Get for not playing this game as much as I played the other ones. What the hell's up with this guy? The hell's up with this guy? Alright, and boom, and boom. You're done. You do not get to hurt Chonkus. You hear me? You don't get to hurt him. He's my boy. Now, there are ways you can limit or drop or decrease the amount of or the rate at which you drop 
Unfortunately, in the early portions of the game, those are extremely expensive items, so... Or, like, rare items. You won't get them for a very long time. Is what I'm trying to infer at. Hey, a Moogle! You're not gonna tell me about Moogles? You're just gonna let me do whatever the hell I want? Okay, fine. Uh, I don't have a lot of money right now. So, I'm not gonna buy anything. down here. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at all these things I'd be missing. Shaboom! Yeah, but the item you need to not drop anymore is called Drop Me Not. And I don't remember when you unlock it, but you do gain it. Maybe in the third or fourth world? And there you go. In order to complete this portal, I have to complete three flow motion attacks. And there you go. Now I just gotta live. Easier said than done, I know. But, as you can see... Because I completed a Link Portal, I gained some rewards. I gained 10 drop points, Rampant Fantasy, and Confetti Candy. I'll take that. Now, if you'll notice that gauge next to Sora's name that says, has that number, the 1.7... That's the rate at which your go your character is going to drop. The more that gauge becomes pink, the more likely that gauge will be dropping you soon. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mailman. Is this going to lead me to the magical mail world of mailing? Oh, God, I hope so. Yay, I'm at the post office. The first new area of Traverse Town we've been to. I'm not missing anything, right? No, okay, good. We can keep going. But look, oh my god, look at how massive this place is. Oh my, are you serious? I was trying to get up there. <laughs> this game. Uh oh. Oh my god, look how massive this thing is. This actually reminds me of the Door Vault from Monsters, Inc. Which is relevant because of Kingdom Hearts 3, but still. Alright, so let's get this first item. A potion, thank you. We could always use them. Excuse me. Demon cat. I don't know who you think you are. But you're not cute enough to be able to hurt me like that. And good riddance. Oh my god, this freaking deer is back. Do you mind? And shut your mouth. That gauge, the drop gauge, will increase, as it said, based on certain things. If you are put to sleep if certain status ailments are inflicted upon you. And those are really rare status ailments, but they do happen, and they can be very problematic for you. So, you're probably more likely to want to avoid them at all costs. Again, you can't really fully control when that happens, but still. Alright, let's see. See if I can get up here the old fashioned way. That's not what I told you to do, but okay. 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 We're trying to get this big boy here. You're gonna be a map? You're gonna be Spark. Okay. 
Nice new magic attack we have for us. Uh, where is it? Spark. Summon a ring of revolving light crystals that deal damage. Sora only. Works for me. I don't like that Sora freezes people. He's not that mean. What is he like? Friggin' Frozone? Yeah. Ooh, wow. I, yeah. I, I, I keep forgetting just how big this, this yeah. place is. Yeah. It's crazy. Alright, let's see. Boom. There are plenty of new spells that this game introduces too, by the way. Spark isn't the only one. There is one that makes the game so freaking broken that it's not even funny. In fact, it's so broken that in future Kingdom Hearts games, they refuse to put it back in. That's just how amazing this one spell is going to be when we get to it. So when does this thing flip over? Right about now. So let's sail our way over here. Now. Perfect. As you can see, there are going to be plenty of areas throughout the game that, you know, have... Oh, perfect. That was what it was supposed to do. Now, you see, there are certain areas that are going to be blocked off by rocks or boulders or, in this case, just random presents. And you can use your Dream Eater capabilities to blast your way through. It won't always work, but you got to keep your eyes open. This is the first Kingdom Hearts game where you really have to keep your eyes open for where treasures might be, where things might go, stuff like that. There's plenty of stuff to do. Alright, so what do we got here? Take damage no more than two times. Okay. I think... Oh, Jesus. Alright, so... Flow motion attacks it is. And boom. And boom. And boom. And boom. I know you might be thinking it's cheap, but... So is setting up these ridiculous rules for these link portals. I don't set up rules for link portals. This game does. But I only got hit once, so it's no big deal. Which means I should be getting some nice prizes. We got 40 deep. We got 40 drop points, troubling fantasy, and a royal cake. And Kuma Panda. Hey, I can do a panda. I can get my own panda. I have a panda. His name is Mild, and he's my best friend. He's not a real panda. As much as he'd like to be, he's not a real panda. Alas. Alright, so we got another D-Link thing over here. Uh, turn this way. There we go. Look at all these treasures there just lying around here. I hate these things. What the heck even is this supposed to be? They're like freaking Chia Pets. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Did we murder them all? Nope, this one's still going because of course he is. Frickin' lizards. That demon... I don't even know what the hell that thing would be called. But I took care of it, so that's what matters. Alright, let's see if we can get back up to this railing. Now, 
this is gonna take me right to where I was. Oh, it's gonna take me right where I have to go. Right? No, oh, is this the beginning? This is the beginning. Okay, fine. I think I think it showed that the railing we're looking for is this green one. Yeah. And of course, I missed it. Uh, the one thing I'll say about flow motion in this game, it is not 100% reliable. You'll have to do a lot of the figuring out stuff for yourself. Where does this green one lead? There we go. And look, a nice safe spot. Perfect. Where are we? We're an hour and 17 minutes in. I think we could go a little bit further. But with Sora, on the other hand, I don't really think so. Let's drop with Sora. Let him get some sleep. The poor guy must be tuckered out after such a long five minutes of use. We gain 105 droplets. No lucky items. We got a couple of link portals. So we have 125 drop points to use. And what do we use them on? Well, game, why don't you take it from here? When you drop, a screen will appear where you gain where you can spend drop points to give the next character a bonus. Collect droplets. The above three ways are to earn DP. You collect droplets, collect lucky items, find and complete this link po a link portal. Now, we don't have many things we can gain. If we want, we can gain ourselves a free potion. But I'm going to not use that. I am going to take an attack gain, a magic gain, and I'll spend the rest as a gift certificate. So Sora will pass out. Riku's been blackout drunk for like 45 years now, so he's going to have a beard. No, just kidding. What happened? Did I fall asleep? Where are Joshua and Beat? Hey, do you mind? Huh? 